enhance, but like enhance further and clearer in the way that only exists in sci-fi movies. Ah, that's better. But what does all this mean? And this and this? <sighs> Let's break it down. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, welcome to DIY in 5. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and today we are deciphering the minuscule markings that you'll find on SD and micro SD cards, so that next time you're in the market, you'll know exactly what you're purchasing and if it will fit your needs. If the tips in today's video got your drone flying, then give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. One of the first markings that you'll see on any SD or micro SD card is capacity how much storage space this particular card has available. You'll pay more to get more storage in a tiny package, but bigger isn't always better. See what capacity your device is compatible with and shop accordingly. After that, you may see a marking saying SDHC or SDXC, and these are two newer classifications of the SD card, noting that the SD cards have higher capacities. SDHC cards have capacities ranging from 4GB to 16GB, while SDXC cards can store 64GB and higher. These are newer types of SD cards, so while newer devices may support older SD card formats, an older device may not be able to support the newer formats. Good to keep in mind. Now, let's talk speed, specifically the read and write speed of the card. Some brands will show this as megabytes per second or capital MB slash lowercase s. Others may show different speeds for read and write or even show speed as a number followed by an X. Higher speeds are important for specific cameras and video cameras in particular. Now speed class is something different entirely. A bit confusing, I know, but stay with me on this one. Speed class refers to the minimum sustained write speed. You'll normally find this on a card shown as a symbol with a number surrounded by a C. The higher the number, the higher sustained write speed the card is capable of, with C2, C4, C6, and C10 representing a minimum write speed of 2, 4, 6, and 10 megabytes per second, respectively. If your camera or drone is taking full HD video, you will want a higher speed class. Then there's UHS speed class, which you'll find on a card marked by a 1 or 3 inside a U. This is a marking found on the newer SDHC or SDXC cards and can also tell the minimum write speed of the card. UHS Speed Class 1 has a minimum 10 megabytes per second speed, and UHS Speed Class 3 has a minimum 30 megabytes per second. A card with the U1 or U3 marking also means it uses one of several UHS bus interfaces, indicating the theoretical maximum read and write speeds, which are different from the sustained speeds of speed classes that we've discussed up until now. You will see UHS bus interface shown as the Roman numeral for 1, 2, or 3, depending. There's also video speed class, which you'll find on cards specifically optimized for video recording. This is marked by a symbol that looks like a V followed by a number showing the minimum write speed in megabytes per second. V10 and V30 are good for 1080p content, V60 for 4K, and even all the way up to V90 for 8K. With all of these speed class marking options, you may see a card that says both U3 and V30, even though they both mean the same thing. Good to be thorough, I guess. Even more confusingly, you may see a card that says U3 and V30 and C10. But wait, if C10 means 10 megabytes per second and U3 and V30 mean 30 megabytes per second, which is it? The answer is the higher of the two. As the SD Association, the organization responsible for naming SD cards, kept adding new speed classes, memory manufacturers try to include as many designations as possible to help customers find the right card. For example, if your new camera says it needs a C10 card, but the SD card only uses the newer U3 marking, you might not know that this card will work with your new camera. If it says both C10 and U3, more bases are covered, albeit a bit redundant. If that wasn't enough, I've got one more speed marking for you. App Performance Class. This is a newer classification that came about with Android's adopted storage device feature. For those of us still lucky enough to have an Android device with expandable memory, this unfortunately may be short-lived. Any 
Anywho, the app performance class shows that a card has the minimum random read and write speeds to both store and run apps, as well as hold more traditional phone data like pictures, videos, files, etc. If a card meets these qualifications, you'll see a small A followed by a 1 or 2. A2 is three to four times faster than A1 in its random read and write speeds, and both have a sustained minimum write speed of 10 megabytes per second. Hopefully by now, these markings are starting to look a little less like an ancient alien language and a bit more like something that you would feel confident navigating on your own. If there are any other markings that you found on an SD card that you would like to tap the hive mind here at Kingston to help decipher, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching everyone, and I will see you next time with more DIY in 5. And maybe even for a future video on SD Express markings. They're not quite here yet, but will be soon. The future! Okay, I'm gonna go for real now. Bye!